Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. I have not filmed in a super long time since I kind of said that I was coming back <laughs> in May, but I decided ultimately that I was gonna kind of just like take a full break. I was not going to film or record summer school just because summer school is not like my classroom and they're not really my kids. I mean, they're my kids for that like six week period of time but it's not the same at all you don't really bring your own materials at least in my experience and so it just didn't really feel like my room and it didn't really feel like there was much i wanted to share about summer school because honestly it was just kind of something that i did um to stay kind of fresh to continue um working so we're gonna close the chapter of summer school. I have about two, three, two and a half to three weeks before I really need to be in school mode, like at school or like in meetings, in trainings, X, Y, Z. School for us starts August 22nd. It is currently July 25th, July 25th. Um, I just had my two year anniversary yesterday and that was really fun. And so I kind of took the day I actually just painted one of our guest bedrooms. Um, if you see this color right here, I have painted most of our house that color on the trim and on the doors. So these were all a really yucky brown, like a really old brown from like probably like the 1950s, I don't know. But today is classroom setup day one. And if you wanna skip ahead to that and you don't wanna hear all the catch up things, I will try to, um, what is it called, timestamp it. We'll see if, or you can just skip ahead. But I'm about to go to the gym first. There's a gym by where I work. So I'm gonna go to the gym and then go in. My goal for today is to get my furniture where I need to be, where I want it to be. And also unpack my classroom because I had to pack a lot of it up. So I need to unpack everything. I also have a few different boxes I need to bring and things I need to bring to school today. So without further ado, let's get into it real life right now this is my guest bedroom i painted everything these colors okay so like everything's kind of a mess in here but i have to bring these boxes i got these from the dollar spot at target and i actually think that these are gonna be really useful it's like a puzzle and they're color coordinated and so i thought this one might be fun i got a few of these um for the beginning of the year i just got the craziest email from my principal so as you guys know, I teach kindergarten and we, when you place kindergartners, it's not like you have a ton of knowledge like from the previous year about all of them to place them evenly, to place them like well, behaviorally, ac like academically, all of the things. Um, and so last year and the years before, it's kind of just been, we take what we know about them from preschool, if we know anything and place them. And what had happened was there were some classes like year after year that were having a lot more problems than others because it just happened that kids got placed, you know, that had really big behaviors or like academically or whatever, right? Um, now, it's not really like that's the end of the world, but of course, if you can prevent that from happening, why wouldn't you? And I remember I talked to my principal last year about it, about how I knew um, that some other schools and like schools from where I'm from in Iowa like have that first week where they just have kids rotate and then they place them a week after school starts so they can kind of get a feel for like behaviors, academics, stuff like that, and try to make the classes as evenly as possible. Because as we know, that's what you do when you have kindergarten, like in first grade to place them in second grade and so on. You place them by what you know about them, um, if that makes sense. Well, I didn't think that we would ever do it and my principal had sent out a poll basically like if we wanted to do it where what they we did it the same as we did last year if we wanted them to come in for a day or two or if we wanted to come, them to come in for a full week and I picked a full week and I'm not sure what my other partner teachers chose um or how they made the decision but they made the decision that they are gonna have them come in for a full week and before we place them and so I love that I'm so excited I think it's gonna be really like challenging but I think it's going to be totally worth it if you or your school does a soft placement and you teach kindergarten or your school does that for kindergarten please let me know how that goes for you guys um 
because it's such a tricky thing, right? Like there's pros and cons to every option. Obviously the cons is that I'm not really gonna know who my full group of students is for an entire week. And obviously that first week you really wanna build relationships. And so not having the same kids over and over again, having different kids every single day is gonna be hard, but I think that ultimately, you know, that first week is gonna be okay in the end. Like we'll build relationships the second week. I'll still be working on relationship building while I'm with them and just hopefully build a really good relationship with a lot of them. Um, and then just narrow in when I have my class that I know is gonna be my class. But yes, I'm super excited. I think that this is such good news and it makes me even happier to go into my classroom today and just get it ready for all the little kindergarten babies that are coming. I, yeah, I'm going to the gym first. I'm making myself get it out of the way. But yes, I'm super excited to talk to you soon. Guys, so I just got in my room as I showed you. It looks a lot different, like stuff is moved around. Um, which is good because I am wanting to flip this room around completely. Um, so let me turn you around. So last year, my teacher desk was here and my library was over here. And then this table was over here. So what I'm thinking actually is to put my teacher desk here, this table in front of that whiteboard, because during small groups, I think it would be so nice to just turn around and have a whiteboard. And then also this bulletin board be a word wall because last year I didn't really use this. It was supposed to be for like our wow work, but we didn't end up really using it because I have a bulletin board outside of my room for that. And so I'm thinking that this is gonna be like small group. And then I was gonna make like part of the library be like maybe over here um, or over here on one of the sides. So yeah, I have to figure out kind of where I'm gonna put these two things and this and kind of how I'm gonna get it all together in the mailboxes. So let's get started. just cleaning out these cabinets which have had so many books and like random things in them it is really nice to have these cabinets so i'm just doing like a storage cabinet with um all of hand sanitizer and then like these are gallon bags and then bags more hand sanitizer and then like i literally have to pull all these books they've just been stored it, they're already like divided into high frequency words stuff like that so i'm going to keep this stuff for small groups because I think that I could really pull these into there and they're already done. Um, so I'm excited about that. Focus now is really just gonna be going through all of those books and getting them put away. I tend to go and do a little bit at each station versus, or like each area that's crazy instead of just doing one and getting it done. So I'm gonna do the library, get it done and um, clean up some other things. And that will probably be it for today, but I will show you it when I'm done but today I really just wanted to get in I'm not even decorating anything I just want to get all the organization kind of good to go before I start decorating um because that's kind of what's important I feel like and that's what I didn't do as much last year I kind of like decorated everything and just didn't even know what to do with a lot of this curriculum and things so I'm gonna go ahead and organize all the books um it's probably gonna take me a really long time so I'm gonna put like a podcast on and then I will show you when I'm done chat while we go through all these books so i have so many categories already i have like seasonal like i have so many that are for like fall winter spring summer and then i have like some valentine's day winter which also has some christmas and other holidays as well i'm keeping one of each of like nursery rhymes that they gave us wheels on the bus baby beluga and down by the bay i have like some beginning of school ones there's like manners at school um, manners on the playground, kindergarten, here I come, um, kitty cat, kitty cat, are you going to school? Don't even know if I'll keep all of these. I think I'm just going to put them in categories 
and then go through them kind of again to see like do I have too many in one category and then narrow down from there it's really hard for me to donate books because every time I look at one I'm like but what if they like it what if they're gonna want it so it's kind of hard but I'm also doing it by author because I think that that's also gonna be great so like I have some dinosaur books and I know I'll have more I'm gonna have like the mouse with Laura Numeroff and then I have like the bad seed pig the pug like I can't get rid of and then I have random ones that like don't really fit into a category but they're funny like Walter the farting dog I need that Anyway, so I'm just kind of going through these. It's very overwhelming to kind of like have all of this stuff. I just like, when I originally got these 100 books, they were kind of already organized into seasons for the most part. And I didn't really keep them that way. And so I kind of regret that. But I have like some books I have in our curriculum and then I have like a copy of it here of mine. So I kind of like want to keep those. But yeah, it's getting hard. This is starting to... Ugh. It's getting hard for me to like... It's harder than I thought it would be to go through these and let like throw them away. Itsy Bitsy Spider. Yeah, I just have too many books though. Oh, I have my whole Dragon series. I might go through this like faster than I intent like thought it would. Like it might go faster than I thought it would be. Um, but I just met another teacher that's going to be brand new this year, um, for first grade. Seems to be, like, really cool, and I'm excited. Um, and so I was kind of talking to her a little bit. Um, I need to find this. So, anyways, I'm going to continue going through these books. Hey, guys, this is what the library is looking like. I went through all of my books, and are you serious? At how many books I went through. So I kind of threw them all in there. I'm going to donate them, but my problem is, is I don't want to donate with these because those were pretty expensive. Like, they're not cheap storage boxes, and I want them. So, I'm not really sure about that. That's almost two things full of books. Um, So, let me kind of talk you through what we got going on. So, this is Arthur. Oops. It's not very full, but that's, like, how I like it because I'm actually going to color code them so they actually stay this way. Um, Is Arthur... And then we have Eric Carl books. And then we have, if you give a mouse cupcake. And then I combine, I have to combine some of them. That one's not one. This is all like fall books. Um, fall and like all the way like through November, like Thanksgiving vibes. Um, this one is, let's pull it out. These little guys. Ah! We have um, the books by um the books by mo williams and then we also have the, the bad seed book the cool bean bad seed um and then we also have the little piggy ones so those kind of all went together in my eyes then i have the dinosaur books um and then also if you give a old lady a fill in the blank i have some nursery rhyme books here and then over here is all winter books. Um, so there's that. And then over here, we have Pete the Cat. This one is more of, oh, I guess this one's Mo Williams. I need to combine those two. Um, and then this is Valentine's Day. This is kind of like life skills books, like different like nonfiction books there's some books um about like musicians librarians construction workers then i have this, this little guy and i have the di matching dinosaur this is kind of like miscellaneous books that i just wanted to keep um because i like them and then this is all like school related last day of kindergarten the mess manners on the school bus manners on the playground that way i can just like grab one from there and then of course i have these guys which is what i'll showcase I'll change these out every um, month or two. All right, guys, I'm just at my desk right now. I'm about to start working on shapes. I'm actually going to do labels for all my books first, get that done, and then maybe look at some shapes and stuff. I like to use Canva to create. Um, this is not sponsored or anything, but Canva is, like, my best friend. I do have the, like, um, one that you have to pay for, like, the advanced one or whatever, because I think that it's the easiest to create. They have so many pre templates and everything and so if you do not have canva get canva 
that's how I'll be doing a lot of my signs. I'm gonna go ahead and do like a readers or leaders above my library. I'll do a decoration on my door. Um, so that's how I'll do like those. And then yeah, I'm just like, I have a lot of stuff that needs to be printed and laminated for decor stuff since I have a lot of my big things out of the way. I still do have like organizational stuff, but I'm gonna go ahead and try to finish the library. I have to peel stickers off of all of the book boxes. Like, and I don't know if that's gonna go well. Um, but I'm going ahead and looking at my planner. Looks like I have a list for myself already. Kind of writing out some things. This is like what I do when I feel overwhelmed a little bit. This is my planner. It is from, oh my gosh, there's stuff on it. I need to clean it off. That's so weird and whatever. Plan a happy life or happy life planner. Is that what they're called? Yeah, happy planner. Um, I've had one of these before, loved it. I also will do, I don't really lesson plan via planner. I do it electronically, um, but I do write like important things down, meetings, stuff like that. So I'm gonna go ahead and kind of write some stuff out and I will show you my labels. I have to play around with how I'm gonna make them, so. Guys, so after a minute of losing my phone, literally could not find it, it was under papers by the printer. I printed and laminated all of what I kind of needed to for today. So I'm about to cut this out, but I went ahead and got the labels. I'll show them to you. I got these from Canva for free. I mean, maybe it's with the package, but kind of have different labels here that kind of messed up. Hopefully it still works. And then I have my readers or leader sign and then my colors. Guys, I'm back in my car now. So unfortunately, everything that I laminated, I must not have the laminator on like long enough and let it heat up enough because it didn't like stick and like close, if you know what I mean. So I'm either gonna have to relaminate like over top of that, that's not gonna work. I'm gonna have to like reprint and laminate things, which is like fine. But at that point I was just kind of like, I think I need to be done for today. I know that it might not have seemed like a ton that I did today, but I did get all the furniture, move it all, kind of unpack my classroom and then like organize some cabinets and do some organizational things, go through the books. And so I need to finish that library and that's probably what I'll focus on doing. Maybe, probably Thursday and Friday I'll come back and work in my room. So that will be two full more days of like getting stuff done. My mother-in-law is coming to help me on Thursday. So we're gonna be doing a lot of the decor on Thursday, getting like the bulletin boards ready. I'm sure she'll probably help me cut stuff and get stuff set up. So to the next one will probably be a lot more of like decor and stuff. So make sure you subscribe to my channel. Um, my Instagram is Elementary with Mia, so is my TikTok. Um, so yeah, I'm trying to post more on those as well. So guys, I'm kind of just back editing this video now, but I wanted to go ahead and end it off. So I hope that you enjoyed Classroom Setup Day 1. Subscribe and stay tuned for the rest of Classroom Setup, and I will see you in my next video.